Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Detroit Love with another video. So, I came across this commercial. I think you guys might be interested. Check it out. Also, there's a bonus fruit box that I'd like to show you as well. Stick around. So RK One Up has created their own commercials for the holidays. Pretty uh awesome. What you guys think about that? I think it's pretty cool. Probably see that on TV. I don't watch a whole lot of TV, so I probably won't see it there. Uh, but I also want to show you something else. Uh, if you have this uh, 32 gig uh, RK only image. It's a hidden little jewel in here that you might be interested in. If you go to RetroPie, in the menus here, there's something here called RetroPie Jukebox. It has two entries here. Uh, the second one is the configuration. This is where you would go to uh, delete your database. So it's just telling you here you want to uh, define certain buttons to be able to control it. Um, and you and you can use uh, mp3 files so you put m3 mp3 files in the uh, ROM directory there's a folder called jukebox you put it in there it'll automatically read it when it launches so you can delete your current jukebox database and you can configure your gamepad assignment okay since I've already done both those I'm going to launch it so ju uh, retro pie jukebox so when your arcade machine is not being used as an arcade, you can use it as a fruit box. So that's the name of the program, fruit box. It's a jukebox. And so I've set up a few buttons here, and you can use all of the buttons on your on your um, joystick or your uh, control panel. So I'll just go over some of the buttons that I've used here. If I can get this camera to cooperate. All right, so what I did was I have the left stick that allow you to go up and down, left and right through the menu. I program this button here to be the pause button. So if you listen to something, you can pause it. It's still, it, it'll pause play. This one will skip the current song. This one will pick a random song this button will jump left. This button will select the song, whatever one's highlighted. And this one will jump right. So you pause that. And then the right stick up will uh, turn the volume up and down will turn the volume down. The player one button is a coin button. Player two button is a free play. Though I'm not sure what those two do if anything at all um, over here I have the jump to the next letter to the left the middle button is auto which I still haven't figured out what that one's doing and then this button is right alpha and this top blue button will clear any cue so if I put some things in cue select select I'll unmute that. You sure about that so this will right. clear. I have two things in the queue. Right this will skip the song. This is this will queue, uh, clear any songs that are queued up. And let's just pause that. Okay. This one will loop the current song, and this one will mute. So mute will keep the song playing, but mute the sound. Pause will pause play until you come back. All right. So All right. 
So pretty simple interface. Looks like an old jukebox. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. All right, so you have your songs. If if an artist has more than one song, we'll find one like here. Uh, cool in the Gang has two songs, so they'll put two songs on the same artist. So these are sorted by. I'm not sure what what is sorted by because it it seems to be. I guess it's alphabetical order uh, by artists. So if we go to the beginning, yes. Yeah, so. The artist is sorted by artists, and I, don't know, I, I, I imagine there's some settings where you can change that, but I have not been able to find it. You may have to use uh, go into the configuration file. Uh, but let's just play something. So we'll try not to play something too crazy. I'm sure I'll get tagged for copyright, but I'll keep it short. So I'll hit select and start playing this song. I got the other one paused. So I unpause that. So I can do the right joystick up and they'll increase the volume. Except I have the volume on the top turned down. So I can press down the joystick and it will turn that volume down. If you keep going to, if you keep going, it'll turn it off completely. So I'll click back up. All right, so we'll skip that song. So I'm gonna skip that song. So there's nothing queued up. So I'll just queue a f few things up. Select, select, select. Select and at the lower right corner, you can see it's queued up. I told you about the button that clears. I can hit this blue button and it'll clear the queue. I'll skip that song to stop playing. So you see, it has the letter. And if you had a keyboard, you could pick songs by hitting the letter and the number. So when you program your keys, if you're using a keyboard, you can set up. Uh, one through zero through nine, I believe, and then uh, letters A through F or G. Okay, so it's a pretty neat thing to uh, have when your your uh, device is not being used. You can use it as a jukebox. All right. Well, hope you guys find this interesting. Uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you on the web. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Smash that like button and make sure you make some comments down there. I want to know I'm doing the right thing for you guys out here. Thanks.